Firefighters say two people are dead and at least three others hurt after a house fire this morning. Firefighters say it broke out around 530 at a home on 6th Avenue. That's in the Mont Pleasant neighborhood, not far from the Schenectady County Public Library. Kimberly Howard is live on the scene there now. Kimberly, I understand you've been finding out more about the victims. That's right, and just tragic. Several people on scene tell me that one of those victims was a young girl who would have been entering the first grade. The other, her uncle, who we're told is in his mid-20s. Now, I want to show you the house here behind me. You can see it's pretty burned out. There were seven people inside the home at the time of the fire. Three of them, firefighters say, had to jump out of a second-story window. I want to show you some more video of what the scene looked like earlier. Firefighters have not determined a cause, but you can see investigators on the scene trying to determine exactly what happened. This fire, of course, heart-wrenching for family, friends, and neighbors. We were here as one family member found out what happened. He collapsed to the ground crying. We're also hearing about a brave attempt to save the people who were trapped inside. One neighbor telling us he broke a window to try to pull anyone out of the flames that he could, but he says those flames were just too intense. That man's wife, who didn't want to show her face on camera, tells us she's heartbroken about the death of that little girl who she called baby girl. She goes to school with my son and we, we work home. I asked her one day what her name was because I couldn't remember what her name was. She told me what her name was and I still didn't understand what she said. So I asked her again, she told me, I said, you know what, I said, I'm just gonna call you baby girl. So she laughed, she goes, okay, Robin, you can call me whatever you want. Again, just a tragic story here in Schenectady. We are not releasing the names of the victims at this point. Firefighters have not officially released that information, but we're told that there will be an update within the next few hours. Of course, we'll bring that information as soon as we get it both on air and online. Live in Schenectady, Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News.